Hello, my name is Nurnadia Nadira binti Muhammad. I would like to present about the introduction of virtual heart rate correction. So first thing first, in the late 1990s, Professor Stephen L. Buchwald and John F. Hardwick developed a chemistry technique that enables the formation of a new carbon nitrogen, the N bonds. This reaction involves the coupling of an aryl or vinyl halide with an amine or amide, resulting in the formation of an aryl or vinyl amine respectively. The crucial aspect of the buchwald hardwick reaction is the utilization of a palladium catalyst in conjunction with a phosphine ligand, commonly triphenylphosphine (PPH3) or a derivative. This combination of catalyst and ligand facilitates the reductive elimination step, which is a vital process in the reaction. A cross-coupling reaction known as the batchwood hardwick reaction produces aryl amines or heteroaryl amines, pyridine amines when an aryl halide or triflate, including heteroaryl, pyridines, halide or triflate reacts with a primary or secondary amine in the presence of a palladium metal catalyst and a base. The advantages of the batchwood hardwick reaction are efficient carbon nitrogen bond formation, applicable in the pharmaceuticals, agrochemicals, and functional materials, allows for the formation of CN bonds in aryl and vinyl halides with amines or amides generally operates under mild reaction condition, minimizing site reaction and preserving functional groups, provide high selectivity favoring the desired CN bond formation. Besides that, there are also many disadvantages of the batchwood hardwick reaction such as palladium catalyst can be expensive affecting scalability sensitivity to air and moisture necessitates specialized handling and reaction conditions certain sensitive functional groups may require additional protection or deprotection steps hindered or sterically congested substrate may exhibit reduce reactivity or slower reaction rates. Last but not least is the requires a good understanding of reaction parameters and optimization for challenging substrates. So for the first picture for the reaction of butchwald hardwick reaction, it indicates that palladium catalyzed synthesis of aryl amines starting materials are aryl halides or pseudo halides for example triflates and primary or secondary amines for the second figures the synthesis of aryl ethers and especially diaryl ethers has recently received much attention as an alternative to the ullmann ether synthesis Based on the figure shown the general mechanism of the buchwald hardwick reaction proceeds as follows Oxidative addition, the palladium catalyst coordinates with the aryl or vinyl halide, displacing the halide to form a reactive palladium 2 complex. In transmetallation, the amine or amide coordinates with the palladium 2 complex, leading to the formation of a palladium 2 amine complex. In the reductive elimination, the CN bond forms via the reductive elimination of the palladium amine complex, regenerating the palladium 0 catalyst. For regeneration, the palladium zero catalyst can be reoxidized by an oxidant such as a base or an air, completing the catalytic cycle. Depending on the type of halide and amine employed as reactants, the end result is either an aryl or vinyl amine, depending on the particular substituents on the aryl or vinyl halide and the amine. The product structure can change. The batchwood hardwick reaction gives rise to a variety of structurally varied products by introducing various amines functions onto the aryl or vinyl scaffold. It is essential 
to remember that the particular product created in the batch rod hardware correction relies on the reactants chosen, the reaction conditions, and whether or not the reactant include any extra functional groups or substituents. Here are some common application of the batch wall hard wick reaction. Firstly is the pharmaceutical synthesis. The batch wall hard wick reaction is widely employed in the synthesis of pharmaceuticals and drugs candidates. It enables the introduction of nitrogen containing functional groups such as amines and amides into target molecules. The reaction has been used in the synthesis of various drugs including antipsychotics, antihistamines, and antiviral agents. Secondly is the material science. The formation of CN bonds through the batchwood hardwick reaction is important in the field of material science. It allows functionalization of organic molecule for the development of new material with telluride properties. For example, this reaction has been utilized in the synthesis of conducting polymers which find application in electronic device, sensors, and energy storage system. Last but not least, the application of batchwood hardwick reaction is in the peptide synthesis. Peptides are important biomolecules with diverse biological activities. The batchwood hardwick reaction has been employed in peptide synthesis to introduce non-natural amino acid or to modify existing peptides by using aryl or vinyl halide as a coupling partners. This reaction enables the incorporation of aromatic or vinyl groups into peptides expanding their chemical and biological properties. These are just a few examples of the many application of batchwood hardwick reaction its versatility and efficiency make it a valuable tool in synthetic organic chemistry for the formation of carbon nitrogen bonds so to summarize the butchwald hardwick reaction commonly referred to as the emanations of aryl halides is a valuable and versatile synthetic technique for establishing carbon nitrogen bonds it possesses numerous advantages including a wide range of applicable substrates excellent selectivity and mild reaction conditions however certain limitations exist such as substrate constraints sensitivity to catalysts and potential cost and availability concerns regarding specific catalysts nonetheless the butchwald hardwick reaction remains extensively employed in organic synthesis as an efficient approach for synthesizing aryl amines.